so uh, last time and also in the first lecture we saw that when we were constructing the term document incidence matrix we were ignoring the positions of the words in the documents and we were also ignoring the counts of the terms in the documents we were ignoring how many times each term is uh, occurring in a document we are just recording the presence or absence of a term now there's something called the boolean retrieval model which is what we have looked at so far the boolean retrieval model has it, it's the simplest retrieval model and it turns out that this is this is not the retrieval model that is used by uh, modern search engines like google although there are some uh, similarities and some of the ideas the core ideas that we have learned so far equally apply to the other model which we will come to later in this course but what is this boolean retrieval model when we talk about boolean retrieval we have to think we have to look at uh, the scenario as uh, in two ways firstly the query is a boolean query right what that means is the query is constructed using terms which are connected use which are then connected to one another using and or and not operators this is not how you you know how most people type queries into google even though if you look at the advanced search of google there's an advanced search tab uh, if you just go to google if you do advanced search you the, google does provide you the option of using boolean operators but actually the kind of queries that modern search engines accept uh, they are called free text queries free text queries means that you just type in whatever sequence of words that comes to your mind intuitively you're not consciously thinking of boolean operators connecting those terms in fact as a rough estimate you can you can say that when a user types in uh, a, a set of terms in a google search box usually they are thinking of all the terms as being uh, preferred if not necessary so you can think of all those terms as making up an and query by default but i mean strictly speaking google doesn't treat it as an and query it treats it as a free text query and we'll see how free text queries are handled by uh, search engines the reason we are starting from this boolean retrieval model is because it's the simplest model to teach and to understand the core concepts so if you learn the core concepts using this boolean retrieval model when we take up the more complicated model which is called the rank retrieval model using free text queries uh at least the core ideas will be clear to you so that we can build on them for for that more complicated model so the first thing that you have to remember about the boolean retrieval model is that it it it, it employs queries we are employing queries using these boolean operators the second thing you have to remember about the boolean retrieval model is that each document is thought of as a set of terms okay just think of uh the analogy of putting balls in an urn or, or in a bag right your your if you a collection of balls in a bag has no ordering to it right in the same way when we create this term document incidence matrix or this inverted index which we have seen we are not we don't really keep track of which word appears in what position in the document we 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 sort of lost track of the order of words in in documents we are just recording now which term is present in what document that's it so each document is viewed as a set of terms and the query is basically a um a, a boolean expression using query terms connected by and or and not operators and the semantics of the results is precise you exactly know why you've got a particular document in the result it's because the document matched or satisfied the boolean query if it satisfies the boolean query it's going to be in the result if it doesn't satisfy the boolean query it's not going to be in the result there is no gradation you don't say that this document matches this query better than this other document either a document matches the query or it doesn't match the query that's not the way things are in uh, 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 in the rank retrieval model which employs free text queries 
there you have the notion of a distance between a query and a document and the documents that are returned at the top are the ones that are closer to the query in some in in some way that we'll come to later on but here there's no notion of uh, uh, ranking in basically you uh, either a document matches the query or it doesn't match the query now is there an example of a search that you may be using uh, on on a daily basis which employs the boolean retrieval model can you think of an example where uh you use an information retrieval system that employs this model so uh, some other railway reservations or something railway reservations well that's possible that's possible i don't know uh, i i mean i don't use uh i don't use the system that you're talking about so that's that's, that's quite possible there's an even more uh, common uh, system how many of you have uh, how many of you use search on gmail or yahoo mail or whatever uh, mail address you use you have you ever used the search feature in your yeah so email search is a good example of the use of the boolean retrieval model So basically if you if you search your email the results that you get will not be ranked according to relevance as you get when you do a web search they'll be ranked in decreasing order of uh, basically they'll be ranked in chronological order from most recent first to uh, less recent and you know depending on what other fields you explicitly specify in a mail sometimes you can sort them by sender and you know those other things but usually they are sorted by uh, date by default and if you open your uh, uh, the the sequence of results that you get you'll see that um uh, it's based on the uh, the appearance of those terms in your emails it's not based on um it's it's, it's not based on this uh, rank retrieval model so email search is a popular example of a boolean retrieval search and in fact the boolean retrieval model was the primary way uh, ir systems were built for three decades until the web came along and it's still used by many professional searchers like lawyers librarians and so on so digital libraries uh, or or library catalogs are another example where you can often find the boolean retrieval model today one thing i want to point out is that information retrieval systems come at different scales of operation so when we think of information retrieval systems of course web search comes to our mind the most uh, immediately but there are also ir systems that are built on smaller scales web search is sort of the largest scale uh, ir system that there is but if you look at desktop search on the other extreme so i hope you can see my screen here so i have this windows 7 machine and let's say that in this search box i start typing uh the word ancient okay you can see that as i'm typing this word i'm immediately getting a set of results over here and uh, for example this document is returned because uh it has ancient in the title and i don't know why this document is uh, returned let me just see okay so this is a video lecture on ancient greece so you can see that ancient appears in the title so that's why this was uh, returned um so this is an example of desktop search the earlier versions of windows I, I, i'm not sure about windows um xp but definitely i think windows vista onwards um the operating system itself provides you uh, a system to search files and again that's it's done by building an inverted index and 
you know, taking your query and then searching that index. Whereas if you look at older versions of the operating systems, if you search for a particular file, it's going to take a long time, you know, just trying to search whatever files there are on your system and then the results will gradually appear one by one as you uh, as you wait. Whereas here, you know, the, the, the operating system would have already built this uh, index and it's just looking up the postings list for this particular term and immediately returning uh, the documents in which this word appears. So this is the smallest scale IR system that you can think of, which is desktop search. The largest, uh, uh, at the largest scale you have web search, but on an intermediate scale you have uh, what is called as enterprise search, where you have a set of documents that are internal to a company and maybe even private to that company's intranet and you provide a search uh, system which searches documents within that corporate intranet. So you can build an inverted index for a corporation's own internal documents. Alternately, there's something called uh, domain-specific search, sometimes also called vertical search. A domain-specific search or vertical search, which provides search over documents within a particular subject area. Like, uh, for example, um, uh, there are some search engines which particularly deal with just health queries and health related documents. So one of the subsidiaries at Cosmics uh, of Cosmics called writehealth.com is, uh, is, is such a, uh, a website which provides you search over health related documents. Likewise, there are popular databases uh, like Medline and PubMed where you can search for articles on uh, biology or medicine related uh, papers. So you can type in queries and you, you, the documents that you get will be uh, basically technical papers containing those terms. So that's enterprise search. Uh, 